Hey, I'm Hayden Wild. I'm a professional triathlete that normally races short course here to qualify for Topo uh, 70.3 World Champs in 2024. Yeah, Melbourne kind of came on my calendar as it was at the end of my uh, so short course season in the tw 2023 and uh, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to, to get in quick as I know there's been a lot of racing in the long course kind of area and a lot of the long course athletes are having some time off so for me it was a good opportunity to finish my season here in Melbourne to try and qualify uh, for Topo next year. You know, I was uh, I was born in the town, so I'd love to, to compete um, in the 70.3 World Champs and uh, yeah, try and, uh, try and bring it back for New Zealand. In Melbourne, there's only two uh, spots for pros, so you know to, to get a, a podium on a on a race is is always very difficult. You know, you need things to go your way. Um, there's so many things in a, in a triathlon that you can't really control, so this is, um, I guess, new territory for me. The longer the race, the more things can happen, so i just got to hope to, you know, perform well and do all the things I can do right to head into, uh, yeah, that top two position. I can tick the box for my qualification uh, nice and early, and, you know, same with the, the age group athletes as well, like, you know, I was an age group athlete myself. I know it was a it was a cool opportunity to get a podium um, when I was when I was racing for my first age group world championships. So I know I kind of know the feeling um, where you know there's where there's one race that you really target at that that kind of pinpoint of the year, and you really just hope you do it do it well. You know, there's a bit of uh, you know ups and downs of uh, what the sun was going to be like in the morning, um, but stoked. You know, we got to get wet, um, which was lovely. You know, it was 800 meters. You know, it wasn't the fastest swim, but it, it was nice, and uh, was was stoked to, to to lead out of the swim. Yeah, for me, just uh, wanted to apply pressure through transition um, and that first 20k of the bike. Turned around and had a pretty healthy gap, and I was like, while I'm here, I might as well keep pushing and see what I can do. And um, my goal was to run ride sub two hours, and yeah, to ride a 56. Um, I was really happy with with a you know about a four minute lead. Coming onto the run, the coach said, you know, we're not out here to um, prove points or anything. We're just here to you know qualify and and um, and get the job done. So for the first 10k, I pushed it um, at a you know three or five pace and. From there, just kind of um, eased up. I'm just stoked to, to cross the line here in Melbourne and uh, yeah, get the qualification spot for Topo next year. Coming from Topo and um, you know I was born there and my whole family has kind of been, um, you know, they've grown up around that King Country area around Radahi, Turangi. Yeah, I think for I think a North Islander boy, um, I think Topo is the centre of New Zealand but it's like it's the centre of, of adventure. You know, you have the Hooker Falls, um, you have the, you know, obviously the beautiful Lake Taupo, uh, Mount Ropehu and, um, and all those kind of ranges. So you get this real nice mountain picturesque, um, you know, just off the lake front. And yeah, it's just a, like a beautiful place to be around. You know, I spent a lot of time there as a, as a kid and driving back and forth to see my grandparents. So the roads that uh, I normally take from Whakatane um, to like Turangi is the, normally the course uh, for Reparo that we normally take. I've done yeah thousands of k's on those roads and know them really well. And 
to get that opportunity to race there back in 2019, it was really nice just to get a feel of what the course was like. And so to, to have it like there, the world champs come um, into, into New Zealand is, is a fantastic opportunity for us and, and for the age groupers as well. I know um, in home soil, I think there's a, a lot of people coming out of retirement that I know that are trying to get a qualification spot and, and people you know, are super excited in the community to, to see a world champs um, finish up in New Zealand. When I first got the, the bronze medal uh, in, in Tokyo, that was a pretty special moment. You know, I wasn't really seated as one of the favourites to win, so to kind of be in that position and now coming into Paris as one of the hot favourites is, is pretty awesome. You know, if I, if I won the gold medal in Paris, I think it would just give me like so much uh, morale and, uh, and just excitement to come back to New Zealand and race the 70.3. Yeah, it's, I'm real stoked, you know, it's been a great season. Um, I've had a few ups and downs and a, bit, a few mishaps and it's just really nice to finish off here, you know, winning here in Melbourne and uh, yeah, I'm just proper, proper stoked to, uh, to finish off the, the year uh, on a high.